Haha, <laughs> 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 you missed me. Oh, come on. A different approach to the chain rule from calculus using Russian nesting dolls to describe nested functions. Brought to you by MathRhythm.com. Let's take a look at an example. This is a nested function. The power of 7 is our outside function, and the polynomial is the inside function. The same rules of calculus and our derivatives still hold, though. So we're going to go ahead and take the power rule, bring that 7 down in front, reduce the exponent to a 6, but we're not done yet. Because this is a nested function, we still have to deal with that inside function. So, we now take the derivative of that. Taking the derivative of that inside polynomial, we find we can use chain rule again. So we bring that 3 down in front of the 5, reducing it to a power of 2, making that a 15x squared, and as always, the derivative of a constant, that 3, just becomes a 0. So this term is simply a 15x squared. Now it is worth noting that the derivative of that red dowel there becomes the green dowel and the purple dowel together. In other words, when we do this inside-outside function of chain rule, it's important to note that it is always a product of both terms. Now let's take a look at a function that's a little bit more complicated. Here we have a trig function, a polynomial, and powers. So, which one comes first? Well, our order of operations tells us the outside function comes first. So let's start by rewriting this thing to make the outside function a little bit more clear. Now we can see that the outside function is in fact that power of 4. As with the power rule before, we bring the 4 down in front, reduce that power to a 3, and leave the inside function alone. The inside function in this case is the sine and the polynomial. Now we're ready to take a look at that inside function. We have to take the derivative of that as well. So, the next function on our list is the sine function. The derivative of sine is just cosine. So we go ahead and make that a cosine of the polynomial. Again, leave the inside function alone. Do not touch that polynomial yet. Now, we're finally ready to go ahead and take the derivative of that inside function. Now we'll take the derivative of that polynomial. So, we bring that 2 down in front of the 3, making that a 6x. And that's it. We're done. The derivative of a constant is still 0 as always, so our last term is simply a 6x. Now, it's important to note that the derivative of that red dowel is actually the green, the purple, and the blue dowels together. Again, it is the product of all of those terms. You ready for an ugly one? Now I know what you're thinking. Wow, two trig functions, a longer polynomial, and powers? Oh my. But don't fret. Take a deep breath. Good. Now, realize that the powerful thing about the chain rule and this nesting doll example is that the technique does not change just because you have more functions nested inside of one another. The only difference between this and the past two examples is that this one is going to be a little bit longer. So, let's get started in the same way with your first step. Rewrite the problem so that we can more clearly see what the outside function even is. Alright, the outside function is that power of 5. Bring it down in front via power rule, reduce it by a power of 1, turning it into a 4. Leave the inside function alone. In this case, your inside function is the sine, the tan, and the polynomial. Don't touch any of them. Now you're ready to take the derivative of the next step, the inside function. The inside function in this case is going to be that sine rule. So, turn the sine into a cosine, leave the tan and the polynomial alone. They are your inside function on this step. Now you're ready to take the derivative of that function. So, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. Again, leave the polynomial alone. Now finally, you're ready to take the derivative of the far inside function. So, bringing that 4 down in front, we get a 28x cubed. Bringing that 3 down, we get a 24x squared. And the derivative of a constant is always a 0, so our final piece is 28x cubed plus 24x squared. Now note that the derivative of that red dowel is the green dowel, the purple dowel, the blue dowel, and the yellow dowel together. It is the product of all four of those dolls. So your derivative just winds up being a little long. It's also worth noting at this stage that if you could, you would go ahead and clean up and simplify the problem. In this case, there really isn't much to simplify. So that giant ugly mess is our derivative. You're done. If you found this video interesting, or at least found it helpful, you can find more videos and examples at mathrhythm.com. If you feel like you need a little additional help, that's okay too. We offer both online and in-person tutoring. Services do vary by area, so to find out what's available in your area, email info at mathrhythm.com or give us a call at 650-918-MATH for more information. You can also share us on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking our link here. If you'd like to provide financial support, you can do so through the fan funding feature built into our official YouTube channel by clicking the link here.